Welcome to Asia and English News Bulletin. This is Tanzim Tabasum with our top stories of the day. Prime Minister Sheikh Sina today is outed that the Bangladesh of 2041 will be a smart Bangladesh while each person will have technological knowledge and the country will not lag behind in the world arena. The Prime Minister said this while the nation wide opening free textbook distribution program by handing over books to students of primary and secondary levels for academic year 2023 at a function at the Prime Minister's office. National Textbook Festival is said to be celebrated across the country on January 1. She said the entire country including all villages will have technological knowledge and the government is taking measures for this. Meanwhile, Sheikh Hasina also said that to make a smart Bangladesh by 2041, the children will be provided with all facilities to be the driving force for that. DMP Commissioner Khandokar Golam Farooq has requested all to refrain from using any kind of fireworks, firecrackers or sky lanterns New Year's Eve as the world readies to ring in 2023. While addressing a press conference at the DMP Media Center on Saturday, the commissioner said open space events will not be allowed on December 31st. However, there is no bar on indoor parties, he said. The commissioner said bars in Dhaka will be closed after 6 p.m. The said entry of outsiders to Gulshan, Bonani and Baridhara is prohibited from 8 p.m. However, the Amtali Kakuli crossing will be open to enter the areas. He requested people of those areas to be at their homes by 8 p.m. Traffic movement will also be suspended in the Hatterjil area from 8 p.m., he added. A mild cold wave is sweeping Nilphamari, Panchagor district and Sri Mangal and it may abide in 24 hours commencing 9 a.m. on Saturday. Weather may remain dry with temporary partly cloudy sky over the country, said a regular bulletin of Bangladesh Meteorological Department. Moderated to thick fog may occur at places over the country from midnight till morning. It said night and day temperatures may remain nearly unchanged over the country. Meanwhile, a range of subcontinental high extends up to Bihar and adjoining areas seasonal low lies over South Bay. Three people died after being hit by two trains in Lalpur Upazila of Natur this afternoon. The deceased are Mumtaz Master of Keshapur village and Jamiruddin and Shati of Naranpur village in Lalpur Upazila. Reports our natural natural correspondent the three were hit by two trains flying on two separate lines from Gopalpur railway gate to Naranpur around 12.30 p.m. today. Mihir Ranjan, officer in charge of Ishwardi police station, confirmed the deaths in the train accidents. The United General Assembly has passed a resolution calling on the International Court of Justice to give an opinion on the legal consequences of Israel's illegal occupation of Palestinian territories. The General Assembly voted 87 to 26 with 53 abstention on the resolution with Western nations split but with virtually unanimous support in the Islamic world including among Arab states that have normalized relations with Israel. Russia and China voted in favor of the resolution. Israel, the U.S. and 24 other members including the United Kingdom and Germany voted against the resolution while France was among the 53 nations that abstained. The Hague-based ICJ, also known as the World Court, is the top UN court dealing with disputes between states. Its ruling are binding to the ICJ has no power to enforce them. Now, international. The world's 8 billion people on Saturday prepared to usher in 2023 and farewell the turbulent 12 months marked by war in Europe, stinging price rise and Lionel Messi's World Cup glory. Sydney will be among the first major cities to ring in 2023, restricting its claim to be the New Year's Eve capital of the 
world after two years of lockdown and Omicron muted festivities. Australia borders have now reopened and more than 1 million people are expected to line Sydney's sparkling harbour to watch one lag pyrotechnic illuminate the southern sky. This is it for now. Please stay tuned with Asia News and visit www.asiatvonline.com. Stay safe.